Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Librarian California and today I'm filming my booktube newbie tag. I actually haven't done this video yet even though I put out a few videos. I'm not really sure why I held out but I wanted to get a few videos up before I did this but let's get into the questions. Why did you start this channel? Well one of the reasons was I have been thinking about it for probably six months but I found myself more and more watching more YouTube and less television, and I thought, why am I not interacting with this community more? So I finally bit the bullet and decided to make my first video a few weeks ago. Number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to YouTube? Well, I think the first thing I can bring is that I am a librarian, and I see books and reading in a wide variety of ways because I'm not just looking at reading for myself, but I'm helping patrons find what they need. Um, so I think that gives me a little bit of a interesting perspective. I also think I have an interesting background. Um, we all do though, so I'm not saying I'm unique. For example, I grew up on a farm and not a whole lot of people are raised on farms anymore. It's a very small percentage. I have a science degree. One of my first jobs out of college is I worked for the plant science department at Walt Disney World. I worked in Epcot, if you've ever been through the, the land pavilion. There's all those hydroponics greenhouses. I ran one of those. That was my first job outside of college. Then I switched careers for a little while, um, for about a decade. I went to graduate school, got a um, graduate degree in history. I was a practicing historian for a decade. Then I transitioned again and got my library science degree. And now I'm an academic librarian. So I kind of have a varied background. So I think that's unique, or I'm hoping that's unique, but we'll see if that actually is. Number three, what are you most excited about for this new channel? This is the answer that everyone gives, but I really am just interested in interacting with more people, talking about books, talking about libraries. I, you know, my, my videos are probably gonna be split half and half, but just interacting with a community around people who love books. Number four, why do you love reading? Well, why I like to read is I like to learn. And that's not to say that I only read things like nonfiction to learn. I think you can learn a lot from fiction books too, but I just like to learn. I like to learn about different things. I like to, you know, be immersed in different places. I like to think about different topics. So that's really why I like reading. Question number five, what book or series got you into reading? And I actually have that book here. I pulled it out from my bookshelves. It's a book I've had since... Well, the 80s. Um, I don't remember exactly when I got it, but it was called The Boxcar Children. And as you can imagine, these children lived in a boxcar, which I just thought was like so crazy. Um, they were four orphan children and they managed to live inside of a boxcar. So I just thought that was just like something I'd never thought of before. And I love this book. I know it's a whole series with a ton of books, but it's really the original, the, the first one that I like the, the most. Question number six, what question would you ask your favorite booktubers? And I think that question would be, what are some of the video ideas or videos that you've made that you just haven't you know, pushed out there yet, or you're not really sure if you should make them or not? I'm just curious to know, you know, what are some of the videos that you're like, I really wanna make this, or I don't know if I should make this, but I'll just kind of hold back and kind of see if anybody else makes it, or Maybe I don't want to delve into this, but I'm just curious about what, what videos have people not made or have made and they just haven't pushed out for whatever reason. Question number seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? And I think for a lot of people, it's just getting started, getting into a routine, um, realize and realizing that you're putting stuff out there that may not get views for a long time or, or ever. It's just hard to put yourself out there and it's also... I've seen it on YouTube a lot, um, and I'm sure the same is with BookTube, is that people say it's a marathon and not a sprint. So you can be putting out videos and they have very few um, views, but as you keep putting out more videos and keep putting out more content and keep trying to grow your channel and keep trying to make better videos, those views will come. So I think that's probably the biggest thing to overcome and just kind of the biggest challenge to, that I see coming, but we'll see what happens. Question number eight is when did you start reading? And what I, I don't exactly remember that, but what I do remember is I do remember as a child going to the public library and going to story time and being read to. That very vividly sticks out in my memory. I also remember certain teachers reading to me. And so I think that's really where I began to love reading. And then throughout my life, it's come and gone. There are times when I just didn't read a book for a really long time. And there are times that I'll just consume books um, all at once. Um, 
and many at a time and it just kind of goes up and down in waves. So I imagine that's the same for a lot of people. Um, sometimes, for example, when you're in graduate school, you're only reading things for graduate school. You have no time for anything else. Um, other times you're, you just are busy or tired or, you know, there's a wide um, reason why we started reading or when we could read or, you know, when we have the availability to read and, and that just varies for different people. But I would say it started at a really young age when I was first at the public library going to story time as a kid. I was probably four or five years of age. I can't really remember too specifically, but I definitely remember the building. And I definitely remember being there and I definitely remember sitting around and being read too. Question number nine is where do you read? Um, mostly I read at home. Um, I'm either in my bedroom or I'm on my couch. If I'm traveling in a car for more than 30 minutes or an hour, I'll definitely be listening to an audiobook. I do read at work, but not like people think librarians read at work. Um, I'm often reading things for research purposes or I'm reviewing books to see if we should purchase them or not or I'm reviewing books for um, the common read or like the one read at my university. And number 10, what kind of books do you like to read? I have very eclectic taste. I just do, I read all over the board. My favorite is dystopian. So I do like fiction, I do like dystopian, I really like science fiction, but also I mentioned I have a graduate degree in history. So I like a lot of history. I like to read things, um, not all the history though, but I do like to read, um, a lot of 20th century US and world history. Those things really fascinate me. I also, to be honest, I have seven nieces and nephews. So I read a lot of kids books, picture books, middle grade books. I often like to read the books before I give them to them, just so that I know what I'm giving them. Then I can start to learn their taste better and I can see what books that you know might be more appealing for them in the future. So I do read a lot of kids books, middle grade books. Um, and then for myself, I like to read dystopian, like I said, um, fiction, nonfiction, I like graphic novels, um, I like comic books. So I really read all over the place. I especially like, I haven't mentioned this yet, but science, environmental science stuff, issues related to you know global warming, um, the environment, environmental topics, climate change. I do a lot of reading in that area too. So it's all over the place and I can't pinpoint it to any one thing. I just basically read whatever, whatever seems interesting, interesting to me at the moment. And that's it for my booktube newbie tag video. I hope you'd enjoyed it. If you think I sound interesting, if you think we might have something in common, if you think that there's something interesting I said that you're curious to know what videos I'm gonna make, please consider subscribing to the channel, give this video a like, and feel free to interact with me in the comment section. I really look forward to delving into this community more. And before I forget, please visit your local library.